Hi guys, it's me Annie and I'm back with another video for you. Today I'm going to do a cooking video. On my channel I do all kinds of DIY crafting and cooking. So if you like that kind of content, please consider to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future videos. For today, I'm going to making a delicious dinner and this will be chicken taco and I'm going to be making it in my crock pot it's also like a multi cooker or instant pot you can also make this recipe in a slow cooker I will put a description for the recipe down below so you can follow along I hope you enjoy this cook with me and let's make a delicious healthy dinner for this recipe, we are just going to need a few simple ingredients. It's more or less a dump and go type of recipe, so it's really easy. And if you do it in the multi cooker, you just cook it for about 15 minutes and then you're done. So what we'll need is a can of tomato and chili, a can of black beans, a can of whole corn kernels, one chopped up onion, a packet of nacho seasoning or taco seasoning of your choice, and three cubed chicken breasts. And for the for the instant pot or crock pot or multi cooker. You will also need to add half a cup of water to make sure that your cooker will come up to pressure. If you're going to make this in the slow cooker, you do not need to add the extra water. So this is all the ingredients you need for this recipe. And then I'll show you how quickly we can put this all together. So firstly, you will need a strainer because you are going to drain the corn and the black beans before you insert them in the pot. So what I'll do, I'll just empty this out into my strainer and get rid of all the liquid. you drain all the liquid out just give it a quick rinse because the black beans sometimes have a little bit of a starchy residue once that is done you can just leave it as is we are going to start putting all the ingredients into the pot first I'm adding my cubed chicken breast the, there's three chicken breasts that go into the pot that's cubed and one chopped up onion then you can add your corn and your black beans on top then also the tomato and chili just dump that on and also the packet of the nacho mix or taco mix that you want to use just dump all of that in there like I say this is more or less a dump and go recipe and then also because I'm using the multi cooker, I'm going to add about half a cup of water just to give it enough liquid to come to pressure. And now I need to mix it all together, make sure it's nice and combined. And then we're ready to start cooking. 
I'm going to put the lid on and lock it. Then you have to make sure this venting knob is on sealing, not on venting, so that it can come to pressure. And we are going to pressure cook for 15 minutes. There we go. Pressure cook. Go all the way down to 15 minutes and start. Now we're just going to wait for it to come to pressure and it will start counting down from 15 minutes and then after that I will let it naturally release the steam for 10 minutes before I open the vent, let the rest of the steam out and I'll open the pot and let you see what this beautiful chicken taco mix will look like. Now the pressure has been released, I have opened the valve and let all the steam out and we are ready to have a look at what our chicken taco looks like. At this stage it is a little bit watery and the chicken is in big cubes. So if you want, you can go ahead and just shred the chicken pieces so that it's nice and fine and add it back into the pot and to make a very nice chicken taco or chicken nachos, whatever you want to use it for. I'll bring you closer so you can see what the chicken looks like when it's just done cooking. The chicken just finished cooking and as you can see it is a little bit liquidy and the chicken is still in big, big chunks. So if you prefer finer chicken you can remove the chicken and just shred it with two forks and add it back into the pot that will make it less liquidy as well and you can add this chicken taco to either tortilla wraps um, a taco shell rice or even for a healthier option you can put it on top of salad leaves you can make a taco salad out of it by crushing up some taco shells or using some corn chips and adding that to the mix with some salad then you make a nice chicken taco salad so these there's a lot of options that you can use this for i will be shredding my chicken pieces just to make it a little bit finer because that's the way we like to eat it and we will be having that on top of some tortilla chips tonight but of course my son loves his um, tortillas and his wraps so we will be placing his on a wrap and also we will add some sour cream some grated cheese we can put a little bit of salsa with it. It's, it makes a delicious meal. So however you like your Mexican food, you can add in some other flavors or have it just plain, just the way you prefer. And this can go a long way. I will be scooping out some of the chicken to shred it so that it's not such big chunks because that is the way we prefer to eat this so I'll just shred some of the biggest pieces just to make it a little bit finer and to shred the chicken 
what you do is you just use two forks and because the chicken is so soft it just falls apart and you can just break it up into smaller pieces and then once you've shredded your big chunks of chicken you just add it back into the pot and this will thicken the mixture as well all I do is I just add this back into the pot so this is what the chicken taco looks like after I've done shredding the chicken so it's finer and for me it's easier to add on top of um, corn chips if you want to be making nachos or to add to a wrap this will make a delicious dinner tonight i hope you enjoyed watching this recipe and try it for yourself it's very easy and makes a delicious meal for a quick dinner